This video is sponsored by Skillshare. I'm gonna tell you five valuable reasons why your YouTube channel may not be growing. Recently, my YouTube channel hit 100,000 subscribers. A huge shout out to everyone who helped me reach this point. But here's the thing, it didn't happen overnight. I've been reflecting a lot on what brought me to this point and that's why I've decided to make this video. While most of these tips are about cubing channels, they can really apply to anyone trying to grow on YouTube and especially for young people. If you find this helpful, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on more videos like this. So why isn't your channel growing? Reason number one, you're just copying someone else. People don't need another j -perm or another cube head or even another Mr. Beast. They need another you. So the question is this, what are you about? What makes your channel different from the others? I'm not saying there's anything wrong with imitation, especially when you're first starting, but what makes you stand out? What does your channel offer that's unique? Of course, if there was an easy question to answer, you wouldn't need this video. Finding your niche, your unique place is difficult, but it's so important. One great example of this is Cubix. He's done a bunch of different things in the past, but if you look at his channel now, he's taken this life experience in engineering and programming and developed a channel that few others could, where he 3D prints or molds never seen before cube hardware, programs software to do all kinds of crazy things with cubes. That's just so fun to watch. So that's his niche and he's killing it. But what's yours? It'll take a bit of time to realize what this is, but if you're serious about it, it's something you'll have to do. Reason number two, you're not thinking about growth. But you might say, Ting Man, all I think about is my channel growing. <laughs> well, that's, that's not what I mean. I mean, what steps have you taken to get your channel growing? You're watching this video now, that's really great, but are you learning from other people's experiences? When I was trying to grow my channel, I took courses in filmmaking, YouTube, I invested in video equipment and software, I watched countless videos from YouTubers like Think Media or video creators who teach you how to grow your channel, what to do, what not to do. I made my videos something that if they were watched by the right people, they would instantly want to subscribe because I was offering them value and something unique. And I also did a ton of planning because I know one of the most common fates of YouTubers burnout. I average about five to six hours of filming and editing time per video that I make. And that doesn't even include planning. In 2020, I made over 60 videos, so you do the maths. There is no way that I could keep a weekly video schedule unless I planned, often months in advance. And all that because I was thinking about growth and I was thinking long term. Tom Scott made an excellent video a while back about why you shouldn't want one of your videos to go viral because people would watch it for the video and not because of you. Viral videos don't get subscribers, at least they're not the type you really want. Success on YouTube is about long term growth, not one hit wonders. So. Think about long-term growth. I have three more really valuable reasons for you, but first I wanna tell you about this video sponsor and don't skip past it. Because even if they weren't sponsoring, I would honestly still have recommended a service like this. If you are serious about wanting to improve your filmmaking skills, you have to check out Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community offering thousands, I repeat, thousands of amazing classes on topics including photography, design, illustration, and so much more. I can guarantee that you'll find something you're interested in. Want to start a brand new YouTube channel, but you have no idea where to begin? There's a course on that. Want to find out how to make better video thumbnails? There's a course on that. In fact, there are dozens. I'm currently taking a course by Marcus Brownlee, who you may know on YouTube as MKBHD. You know, the tech review guy with only 13 million subscribers. Marcus goes through how he plans and scripts his videos, then how he shoots and edits. If you told me this series was out there, I would have done anything to get my hands on it. But here it is, and it's so good. Skillshare is always launching new classes, and because there are no ads, you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. For less than $10 a month with an annual subscription, it's a no-brainer. Oh, and the first 1,000 people who use my link in the video description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. Please check it out. Reason number three why your channel's not growing, you want it to grow too much. This sounds ironic, but there's an obsession about growth and numbers that's really not helpful. Your YouTube channel cannot be the only thing in your life. For starters, one-dimensional people aren't as interesting. I know there are exceptions to the rule, of course, but a balanced life where you have multiple interests and do all the normal thing a person your age should do is what will probably make you a better YouTuber. Some of you may think that, oh, if only my channel hit X amount of subscribers or X amount of views, then I'll really be happy. You may feel happy, but it won't last. Find what truly makes you happy. Be secure in that, and then out of that happiness, make videos. For me, as many of you know, my meaning in life, the real source of my happiness is God and my family. That's where I find fulfillment and validation and security. Don't try and get it from YouTube fame and fortune because they never last. 
the more whole you are as a person, the less dependent you are on YouTube, ironically, and the better a YouTuber you'll be. And also, your life will be better as well. Reason number four is a big one. You don't know why you want growth. Let me ask you this. What's your goal? Is it subscribers? Is it money? Let's put things in perspective. <laughs> Say you're making video after video, nothing's happening, then all of a sudden, one just like takes off, gets you like 50,000 views. How many subscribers do you think you'll get? I can tell you from experience, maybe a few hundred. And how much money do you think you'll get? If you're lucky, maybe $50, probably less. And that's only if your channel has already met the criteria for being monetized. But $50 is a lot, you say. Yes, but not for the amount of time you put in. Say your video took four hours to make, which in my books is very quick. This means you were working for $12.50 an hour and your contract only lasted four hours. And that doesn't include the countless videos you made prior to that, that made nothing. I'm not making this up. There are many channels with over 100,000 subscribers who barely make enough to cover the running costs of what's required to have a successful channel. It's really easy to look at the stars, you know, those with millions of subscribers living it up. But the reality is that most successful YouTubers had a full-time job that allowed them to make videos on the side. Many people have reached out to me saying they need their channel to grow because they want to earn money for their mom who's sick or someone in the family who's lost their job. Then I ask them how old they are and do you know what they say? I'm 15 or I'm 12. Listen to me. Hoping to provide for your family through YouTube videos is like spending all your savings on lottery tickets in order to support your family. Yes, there is a chance something could happen, but you're putting your hope in the wrong thing. The best thing you can do right now as a kid or a teenager is to study hard, grow your character, grow your mind, just be present for your family become a good person. Okay, okay, that was a long aside, but my point is that I reckon money alone is a terrible ultimate goal in any career, but definitely with YouTube. A better goal to have is wanting to provide value to people. It's the same with businesses. Don't chase after the money. It'll come if it's meant to. Think about what value you're providing to people. And that, of course, is linked to your niche, which I mentioned from before. I'll use my channel as an example. I struggled for quite a while figuring out what I was gonna be about and what value I could give my viewers. But if you're a subscriber, I hope you can now answer that question for yourself. Tingman is all about providing wholesome cubing videos that put a smile on your face and make you feel a little less lonely, a little more connected, a little more loved. And we do it through cubing. That's the value I decided my channel will offer. And it's totally different from other cubing channels like JPerms, for example, where the value is clearly cubing knowledge and clear instructions. So the value my channel offers is what I decided to make my goal. Have I been able to get subscribers and make money along the way? Yes, but that's not the main goal. The main goal is to give people value. Speaking of, if you're getting value out of this video, why don't you subscribe to my channel so you can join the Tingman fam and get even more out of it. And the final reason why your channel isn't growing, you are not ready. Okay, you might think that sounds negative, but hear me out, there is hope in that statement. There's a reason why there are very few big YouTubers who are 12 years old and those who are have big teams behind them, trust me. Someone else is filming and editing and planning and they don't often have as much creative control over the channel. The fact is, it takes time. Here's a not so well kept secret. I've been on YouTube since 2007, so old. The videos I made weren't high quality back then, but even so, I'd already been filmmaking for several years before that point. If you think I make good videos now, thank you, I appreciate that. But that's because I've made hundreds of videos before that you never got to see. I've spent years gradually investing in camera equipment, editing software. I don't even want to think about how much I've spent there. I've written scripts for videos I never made. I've filmed videos I never edited and I could see all of those as fails. Or I could say that I was gaining experience every step of the way and it's made me who I am today. If money or school or time or energy is stopping you from being able to grow your channel now, maybe that's okay. Maybe this season of your life right now is one where you should be focusing on something else. Don't worry, if your passion is video making and being a YouTuber, that dream will not go away. Do what you should be doing now and see it all as experience and becoming the person you need to be one day. You may not be ready now, but you will be. Again, check out Skillshare for courses that will develop you as a filmmaker and YouTuber and generally make you a better person. I hope that you figure out how to grow your channel, but even more, I hope you grow to become the person that you're meant to be. All the best.